Stormy Daniels sues Trump and wants to reveal the details of their alleged affair. Stormy also says that Trump never signed their hush agreement, so the affair is fair game for her to discuss. If that's true, you know he's regretting that decision right now. According to Stormy's lawsuit, there was an agreement drafted by Trump's lawyers just days before he was elected, which intended to keep Stormy from talking about her alleged affair with the president back in 2006. Because, you know, that might have done some damage to his campaign. Stormy alleges that while she signed the contract and Donald Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, signed it, Trump himself did not. She also revealed that she and Trump used aliases for the contract and that he was named David Dennison while she was named Peggy Peterson in the agreement. Hashtag fake names. According to documents obtained by TMZ, Trump's lawyer contacted Stormy shortly after the infamous grab him by the pussy access Hollywood tape came out. When Trump and his attorney found out that Stormy was thinking of going public with her alleged affair with the president, she claims that the men, quote, aggressively sought to silence her with the hush agreement. As for the $130,000 Stormy was paid for her agreement, she says it was routed through an entity called Essential Consultants LLC and that the company was created right before the election for the single purpose of hiding the source of payment to Stormy. Michael Cohen, Trump's lawyer, has publicly come out and said that the money came from his own personal funds. Stormy is suing Trump and claiming that since he didn't sign the agreement, it should be ruled invalid. That would obviously clear the path for Stormy to spill the full deeds on her alleged affair with the president. Although I'm not sure we really want to hear the full deeds of that, but that's just me. All right, guys, now I got to know what you think of Stormy suing the president. Do you think the judge will rule in her favor? Sound off in the comments. And after that, click right over here to check out Donald Trump's Oscar tweet. Thanks so much for joining me on Newsfeed, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'll see you next time.